If they haven't done something and you've told them three times and they still haven't done them, then they're not going to do it if you tell them a fourth time. You can't change people. You can only change the way that you deal with them. When you ask someone a question, they need time to think. Mary Daw is Head of Leadership Development at the Institute of Education in London. Taking time to see different perspectives is seen as one way of helping middle leaders manage relationships. Today we looked at um, perceptual positions, which is a way of looking at an issue you've had um, th from other points of view, from the point of view of yourself, point of view of an observer, and the point of view of the other person involved. I want you to imagine that each one of these chairs has a different function. This is you, self. Over here, this is the person I've had that difficult conversation with. And the one over here is all about the observer. One of the things we looked at today was emotional intelligence and about dealing with yourself and then understanding others and how, how do you do that and what is it what do they need personally need to develop in that whole area of emotional intelligence I had just hired a new member of staff for my department um, she was a lot older than me um, and I overheard her and a colleague from another department one day um, basically discussing the work that I had implemented, the work that she had agreed to before she took the position. She turned around and asked me if I was having a problem with my time management, which quite upset me because I've been in this career for 40 odd years and I know how to manage my time and it wasn't about the time management and I felt quite patronised that she was offering me extra time in front of another colleague. The colleague, I think she did make a mistake when she brought up the age um, and when she expressed to the head of department that she was old enough to be her mother. I could see straight away that the head of department then got defensive, the colleague then got defensive um, and it kind of escalated into a situation but I do think they both came to their senses in the end. Anyone got any comments they'd like to make about being that fly on the wall but still talking as if you were there? It helps to give you some kind of um, emphasis on what, the situation but looking at it from above, yeah. do you know, what I mean? taking yourself out of the situation personally and professionally and looking at it as if you were observing it, how would it make you feel? So you look at it from a completely different perception. I think the older member of staff who um, puts down the younger member of staff is something that's very common for middle leaders and I think they have to have the confidence to say I am the head of department here, that's my role, you didn't apply for it, it's not your role, but I do value your learning, all the things that you've done, all your years of experience, I really value that. The person who says yes, yes, and means no, is, is quite a difficult one to deal with, and I think um, they have to be, once they know that's what that person d it does, and then it's about actually set, setting up much smaller targets. Somebody who's just being, uh, seems to be being awkward and is saying, it's not in my job. It might be a sit down and say, well, what is in your job? Let's have a look at what your job is. And this is what I expect you to do. So the next morning, morning meeting, I said, if you're going to use a laptop trolley, make sure you put it back properly because some of us spent two and a half hours making sure that it was organised for you in the first place. And, and you know, I was really quite cross about it. And the the member of staff who was responsible for it apparently was very upset by my words and went to the deputy head and was a bit teary. And you know, um, but I mean, that wasn't the main issue. My main issue was how I reacted to the deputy head when she came and told me that. I was like. So, I'm, not, I'm here to teach, not protect my colleagues' feelings, which I think was a bit naive. But it's about emotional intelligence. It's about being able to have control over your own emotions. And when you have to be quiet, when you have to bite your lip, when you have to smile. And maybe when you have to deal with then something in a different way, but deal with it calmly. I, I learned 
as most of us do, sometimes through the hard way by having your hand slapped by the head teacher. Uh, so I, I built up some little strategies even to the point where I've got these little statements sellotaped on my, my PC monitor. Some might say, for example, is this reaction emotionally intelligent? So you might find yourself with a, a difficult parent on the phone or a difficult email and you want to respond straight away or you might face someone in the office on the corridor and you have to react. So I, I've, I've used that philosophy so much that my first thought is how do I deal with this intelligently without any emotions involved.